Hello and welcome everybody to a crazy comparison. The reason why I say crazy is because these two monitors are not meant for the same purpose, and I'm comparing them. The reason why I'm comparing them is because not many of us use a monitor only for gaming or only for computer use. We use it for both or maybe even more. So the purpose of this video is to find out which of these two monitors is more well-rounded, meaning can perform better in more categories. This comparison is between the Zoe or BenQ RL2455HM and the Samsung CF391. After the video is over, tell me in the comments below if you've had any experience with either one or if you have any questions, uh, please leave them down there as well. So the reason why you guys haven't seen the BenQ monitor featured on my channel is because you are new. Most, if not every one of you subscribed probably weren't here like three years ago when I reviewed this beast. That was when this channel was solely focused on gaming and I showed gameplay. Since then, I've now changed this channel into gaming related technology like headsets, keyboards and such, as well as other electronics like smartphones and cameras and stuff like that. So if you have seen that review I made when I uploaded it, you are a boss. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, the monitors. Let's begin with the BenQ monitor. If you couldn't tell by the side-by-side -side shot, the BenQ monitor is much smaller than the Samsung one. That's because it has a 24-inch display. A 24-inch TN panel at a full HD resolution, if you guys haven't heard of the BenQ or Zoe brand, uh, that's because you're not a gamer, or at least not a competitive gamer. I'm saying BenQ or Zoe because I believe BenQ actually bought the company Zoe and they are now producing their products under the name Zoe. So, so I'm just gonna name the BenQ monitor Zoe, but it's the black 24 inch monitor. So the Zoe brand actually makes the official monitors for competitive esports like Call of Duty. That's the reason why I bought mine. This monitor has a 60 Hertz refresh rate with a one millisecond greater grade response time. Those are the specs for the RL2455HM. Now to the Samsung CF391. This behemoth of a monitor isn't made for professional gaming. You can tell because there's a giant 32 inch display. For a TV, 32 inches is small, but for a monitor, it's big. I've said in previous videos that a 32 inch monitor is too big for PC gaming. For console gaming, it's okay because you could sit back. While gaming on a PC, you have to stay close to your keyboard and mouse, which are normally close to the monitor. Anyway, again, there's a 32 inch display, it's curved, it's a VA panel at full HD resolution, 60Hz refresh rate, and a 4 millisecond response time. Both of these monitors can be used with any console, as long as it has an HDMI cable, and computers for any purpose. There are two kinds of people that I will focus on on this comparison, competitive gamers and casual gamers slash computer users. For competitive gaming, the obvious winner is the Zoe monitor because of its features and specifications. On top of that, I believe the official size for a programming monitor is 24 inches. This monitor fits that description. You can still do everything else like browse the web, watch videos, movies, and more with good quality if you connect it to a computer. One thing I have heard about this monitor is that the colors aren't all that great. I personally had no issue with the colors. I used it on the movie setting and it seemed fine to me. The Samsung monitor, however, has better colors. I actually really enjoy the BenQ monitor for both competitive games and casual games as well as watching movies and videos. The Samsung monitor, on the other hand, I would not recommend for competitive gaming the size of it will put you in a disadvantage because your eyes would have more field to cover since competitive players tend to sit really close to the monitor. You might actually have to move your head side by side if you want to see one end of the screen and then the other end right away. For casual gamers, I would recommend this one instead. And I'm talking about console gamers. For PC, I would not go over 27 inches. For console, it's fine because, like I said earlier, console gamers could sit back a little more than PC gamers slash users. I've played games like The Division, Uncharted, GTA, and everything is perfectly fine. Even if you play Call of Duty casually, you'll be fine. I mean, I got a nuke on this 32-inch monitor with no problem. You can still play competitive Call of Duty or Halo or whatever game you prefer, but if you're going pro, get the Zoe. So that's the gaming side of things. Now for the casual PC users, both of these monitors will serve their purpose well. There are differences though. Again, the display size. Since they're both full HD, you might be able to see a tiny bit of pixelation in the BenQ monitor the closer you sit, but it's a lot more noticeable on the Samsung monitor. Sitting close to a 32 inch full HD monitor, you will see more pixelation. It's recommended that you sit around 3 feet or a little more to get the best viewing distance for this monitor. That may not be the best for PC users because many desks aren't that big. There's a lot to take in. The size is also too big in my opinion. When it's time to upgrade my monitor, I will only be looking at 27 inch monitors because 32 is too big and 24, since I won't be playing competitively, is too small. I think 27 inches is a sweet spot because it's well rounded. You could play competitively, comfortably, and also browse the web in full HD without seeing too much pixelation. I would recommend 1440p or maybe even 4K if you can. The Zoe RL2455HM also has speakers which are not present on the Samsung monitor. 
For most gamers, this won't be an issue because headsets exist, but for a good amount of people, it will be. Luckily, both have a headphone jack, so you can plug in headphones to them or plug in some speakers and you're good to go. And since we're talking about ports and jacks, the BenQ monitor has more ports on the back. It has a D-sub port, DVI port, two HDMI ports, a headphone jack, and a line-in port, whatever that does. The CF391 only has one HDMI port with one display port and a headphone jack. I have the PS4 plugged into the HDMI port and the PC plugged into the display port, but I also have a PS3 which is not in use because I need an extra HDMI port. Both of these monitors have the same refresh rate, which honestly isn't bad. They operate at 60Hz and for casual gamers that's perfectly fine, but I've heard that 144Hz creates a much smoother gaming experience. Now, I've never tried a monitor that had a refresh rate higher than 60Hz, but that's definitely on my list of specifications for the next monitor I buy. Now it comes down to price. I checked a couple minutes ago, and the RL2455HM costs $170 on Amazon, and the Samsung monitor costs $273. So that's a $100 difference. Of course, there are tons of other options, but for competitive gamers and PC gamers, I would recommend the BenQ monitor and for casual gamers as well as PC users, not PC gamers unless you have a big desk, I would recommend the Samsung monitor. But I will say this again, instead of 32 inches, go for the 27 inch, you'll be better off. I'm not saying one monitor is better than the other, they both have their strengths and weaknesses, it depends on your playstyle and your expectations for the monitors. I'm just giving information. I'm satisfied with both, however. Anyway, this was a long video. Thank you guys for watching. If you've made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. You guys can also answer each other's questions down there. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.